The functional electrical stimulation bike race was full of emotion. Certain riders had a hard time. With others, it went really well. And still others were completely exhausted after the race. I'm still alive. It was a race with all facets. Two teams had to bury their hopes for a top place early. Farid Ujudi from the French team INS de Lyon is a newcomer and has a lot of trouble. After a bit more than two minutes and 200 meters, the race is over for him. His muscles do not follow the impulses and cramp up. Perhaps he had trained too much. Or was it nervousness? Even the Thai team Mahidol BCI lab with pilot Sakyuti Plung Pong Pon does not get far. In the end, only 72 meters are measured. Already four years ago, things were going badly for this team. At that time, the pilot failed the medical check. Now, the next disappointment for the Thai team. But the team does not lose its humor. Two other teams did not make it to the finish line, but covered a considerable distance. Andrea Gatti from the Italian team Polymir Rehamuf pedals very well for a long time. But in between, he is slow. He manages 850 meters. A great performance, because Andrea has only been a paraplegic for one and a half year. As a newcomer, he shows an impressive performance. Stahl Lopes from the Brazilian team EMA comes a little further. Maybe thanks to the beautiful scenery, the team is competing in a beach house. And Stahl has the right outfit to match. He manages 966 meters. A good performance. But the whole distance of 1200 meters is too far for him. By the way, the distance is much longer than four years ago, when the riders had to master the race on a real track. What has remained the same are the favorites. The top three will be competing for the best places this year as well. Among them is Mark Moon from the American team Cleveland, who won by a large margin back then. The 63-year-old is the only pilot to have implanted electrodes. And of course, he is also one of the favorites this year. As expected, he shows a strong performance and qualifies for the top four. But is it enough to win again? One of his challengers is Johnny Beer from the British Imperial Burkle team, who is contesting the race in his living room. Johnny finished second in 2016 and is a very competitive racer. He also meets the expectations and makes the top four. Difficult for him, Three days ago, his system did not work yet. Has he found the right setup to compete for the victory? In 2016, the French pilot Julien Chouffroy from the Swiss team BFH Cybertrike also made it to the podium. He finished third at that time. And also this year, his pedal movements look good. Julien qualifies for the top four, and of course, he is also one of the contenders for the victory. Who will take the last place in the top four? The Dutchman Sander Koeman still has a chance. He is participating in the Cybertron for the first time and these pedal movements look very good. Sander really reaches his limits, is totally exhausted at the end. For him, it is enough to reach the top four. That's rewarded with a little snack. But was the performance good enough for a place at the top? Bad luck for Yong Hoon Kim from the Korean team B again. Like Sander, he is also a newcomer at the Cybertron. But he doesn't reach the top four, despite a very good performance. The joy of the team is enormous. He manages the 1200 meters, but in the worst time. For him, there is place five. Here's the ranking. The French and the Thai team had a lot of trouble and took place eight and nine. A bit further on came the Italian and the Brazilian team. Bitter for the Korean team, they make it 1200 meters, but don't make it into the top four. 
The top places are occupied in alphabetical order. Johnny Beer, Julian Joffroy, Mark Moon and Sander Kuhn. Who will take the victory? Functional electrical stimulation bike race. There are four teams left in contention for the gold medal. Three of the four won medals in the 2016 edition of the Cyberthon. This is the big favourite, Mark Moon from the United States of America. Kuman from the Netherlands, looking very confident at the start. Then from Imperial College London, we have Johnny Beer, who took the silver medal four years ago, and Julian Jouffroy for Switzerland. Now let's take a quick look at Mark Moon. And a word from you, Claudio, this pilot has a unique system different to any other in the final. Yeah, that's correct. Um, the difference is that the electrodes are directly implanted into the muscle and this allows a direct stimulation of the, of the nerve for the muscle. Now, the Cleveland team are the team to beat. They took the gold medal four years ago. And this is a gentleman who's looking to turn the tables. Johnny Beer, out of the Imperial Burkle team, who took the silver medal back in 2016, is one of the favourites. And as we can see, they all look very comfortable and very efficient and effective in the early part. Already heading for the 400-metre mark is uh, Julian Geoffroy from the... Uh, BFH Cyber Trike team. And again, one of the favorites in the bronze medalist. And Sander Kuman from uh, the Netherlands is our fourth pilot. Again, looking very comfortable, setting a nice rhythm and cadence in the early stages. But it's the American that has the early lead going off very quickly, but perhaps now finding a little trouble, Claudio. Yeah, it looks like she's really falling into trouble and the other teams are, are fast and all look very strong and uh, I bet it will be a tight race now. It is so tight. Five seconds off the pace for Bia. And uh, here we see the Swiss one second off the pace. There is no question that Mark Moon for the United States of America is in trouble here because it is the Dutch team with Kuman that now take the lead. We're at the 600 meter mark. Remember, we're pedaling for eight minutes at 1.42. Pulse Racing are setting a blistering pace. Yeah, just to say, just I mean, it, it, the there's only two no. minutes for the 600 meters. That means there is about 17K per, per hour he's racing now, or about 10 miles per hour, which is quite fast for such a bike. And is that a problem for some and not for others? Because the early pace has been electrifying. We're already at the 800 meter mark with uh, Johnny Beer from the Imperial Burkle, and he's just gone past two minutes. This is looking very fast indeed. Claudio, have they gone too fast too soon? I don't think so. I think they, they tested the race before and they should be experienced and know how they pace. And look at Kuman go here, he takes the lead back and he's absolutely flying. He's heading for the 1200 meter mark and he's there. Look at the time. Two minutes 40 is absolutely remarkable. Sander Kuman, the big upset in the FES race. It's gone to the Netherlands. Who will take the silver medal? Johnny Beer is so close with, oh, and it is Beer. Imperial College of London, the Imperial Burkle team takes silver medal. It's Exactly where he finished in 2016. Now the race is on for bronze. Will it be the USA? Will it be Switzerland? And it is Mark Moon who's just there. Cleveland take the bronze medal. It was the gold four years ago. And still, with an amazing time of 3 minutes 17, the Swiss team take fourth position. What a finale. What a race. But it is Team Pulse Racing that take the gold. Well, as we said before, there were three medalists from the 2016 edition of the Cyberthon, all looking to go one better than their positions of four years ago. But it is uh, Koeman from the Netherlands that causes a real surprise. Uh, last year's winner there, Mark Moon, had a few issues halfway through the challenge. Such a close race. What a magnificent performance from uh, Sander Koeman. Two minutes 40 is remarkable. What a great race. Now we see all the teams here. Congratulations to all the teams watching us from behind, from uh, back home.
uh, you did all a great effort. Congratulations really to all of you and congratulations of course to uh, Sander Koeman, the team from the Netherlands who made it. Actually our two experts uh, didn't have him on the radar and uh, you said Cleveland maybe would win. And uh, we have a look now to the Netherlands. Here they are. Congratulations, Sander Koeman here is uh, cheering. That was a great race you did, really great. And uh, we uh, want to talk a little bit. Now let's have a look first at the graphics at the places one to four. On uh, first place, we already said is from the Netherlands, Sander Koeman, and then we have second place, Johnny Beer from Great Britain, then we have Mark Kuhn from the US on the third place, and Julian Schofri from Switzerland. Congratulations to all of you. And now